You've had unbelievable scrutiny about your finances. Yeah. People said to me, how rich is he then, Donald? How rich are you? Well, I'll tell you what, I put in my financials. They are unbelievable and they show, you know, I never thought I'd have to be doing this. When I ran for office, I knew I had to do, you know, the financial thing. And if you look at the financials, it's way over $10 billion, 10 billion, which is a damn good job. That's I all mean, your assets put together. Yeah, everything, if you add it up. What's the biggest over, check you could personally write, do you think? Oh, I don't know, I'd have to sell things. I mean, I can write a big check, but I'd sell things. If I wanted to finance a campaign, I could do it very easily, and I am financing. You know, I've self-financed the whole thing up until this point. Your old uh, sparring partner, Lord Sugar, Yeah. Uh, he, d he thinks he can write a bigger check than you. Yeah, no, he's a small timer. <laughs> don't forget. Sugar works for me. <laughs> every time he makes money, he because pays Because you own part of the yeah, format of with, The Apprentice. with Mark Burnett. So every Have you time, thought of firing him? No, I think he's doing a nice job. Has he still got the show going? It's he okay. Has, yeah, yeah. But Sugar works for me, so... But he's I quite critical of you in your presidency, right? I, I don't know anything about it. I know he went to my club and he liked my food. Uh, when we first chose him, he was so low on the economic scale that he didn't really fit the role very well. <laughs> You know, I actually think he probably made more money doing The Apprentice than he has. Did you consider giving him a loan so that he could qualify? No, I don't want to do that, but, <laughs> but I will tell you, I, I think, you know, he was a very low-level person. If he's watching this, he normally is watching the show, what, what would you say to him? I wouldn't say, I just wish him luck. Tony Blair made a mistake. I mean, when he came in, you know, you can't just go in haphazardly. You folks got involved in that mess just like we did, and now look at it. And I was being driven here by a, a guy in a car. And he said, you know what, I like Donald Trump. Donald doesn't speak like a politician. He just gives it to us straight.